Oh, oh, hello. Welcome back, guys. What is going on? FMU slash Paul here with the final of the three tutorials, the 3D kit tutorial, which is the one that most of you care about the most. I often find myself, there's nothing better than having your 3D kits match your 2D kits in Football Manager. And sometimes when you make a new 2D kit, changes, you know, it, it kind of ruins it because the 3D kit is so different. So if you want to, this is how you create the 3D kit for the match engine. Roll it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do this is going to be you need something like JZIP, WinRAR, something like that you can use to extract the files once you've downloaded them. And you're also going to need Photoshop. Um, there is a link down below where you can get the free trial to try it out. Or if you've already got it, then find Dabba Daisy, basically. So there'll be a link down in the description as well to this page here. And this is where you download the kit templates from. Uh, this is the most recent download. Uh, as far as I'm aware, but there are other ones you can scroll through and just sort of download as many as you want. But I tend to edit mine completely, so you just click on this here and you'll be able to download it. Just follow it as usual. If you're not sure how to download kits and stuff, just watch a tutorial on that. I'm not going to go through it now because normally most of you know how to do it. You just click download, it'll pop up down the bottom here. Then you use your JZIP, WinRAR, whatever you've got to extract it to a folder of your choosing and what that is it's just a folder on my external hard drive where i save all my kit templates and graphic design stuff too uh, you'll see here i've got all the 2d kits these are the more fancier kits i did the very first video on that one there and this one here is kind of like i don't know if you can see it's kind of like a, a side standing one and that there is the man united one that i've been working on so it's the 3d templates pack that you want okay now like i say this is just the very basic one that i downloaded um the kit we're going to do is the away kit i made some 2d kits not long ago you may have seen on twitter for uh crew i've just taken over them on a on a save that i'm doing this not a youtube or anything like that sort of save just one person but I, I hated the crew kit the homes kit from this season a lot of crew fans did um so i decided to change it decided to make a new kit uh, and I used FBT, which are now their kit makers as the, uh, obviously, the, the kit design maker. But they're not actually in this uh, download. So we're just going to go in to the 2K and we're just going to select that. We're just going to go in, put one at random because we are going to design this kit completely from scratch because there's not a lot to it, to be honest. Um, so you need to click on the PSD file and it'll open it up and it'll be like this. Now you'll notice that the background is the same color as the shirt. So the first thing we want to do is so we know what we're working with is remove the background out. It looks complicated, but believe you me, it, it really isn't complicated at all. Okay. So first thing we want to do before we do any of that stuff is we're going to come in here and we're just going to have a little look at the this see these are all the logos so we can remove all of those by just clicking on that eyeball there and you'll see it's taken them all off the shirt next up is the texture i'm not bothered about having the textures on there that they've got so click that and it will move you see the textures will all be removed um i mean you can i guess if you want to leave the textures on it's up to you. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave them on for this. We will leave them on. Um, the color we do actually want to keep. So basically, I need to come in and that is, that is bang on. CEC702. Excellent. Bang on. That is the exact color <laughs> color 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 that i wanted so i'm just going to come in and we're going to change the color now obviously this is the front and we, we need it all the way around on this one we want it the same color all the way around up so there we are it's got a little those little lines there which has a bit of detail to it apologies if you hear the next door neighbor's dog bark she's back off holiday so she's very excited to see her parents um so that's that one very good uh that's the front of the collar done so we can close that down back we are literally just going to add the same color to the back like i said boosh there we go so that's that now what we have here is then that's kind of giving it away in certain respects 
This is the front of the kit. So this is what you'll see from the front. This is where your badge, your sponsors, your logos all need to go on the front. Obviously this is the back of the kit. And then these are the two sleeves. So this is the, I think this is the, that's the left side as you're looking out from the front. That's the right side, I believe. And this is the trim, you know, that goes across the very bottom of the sleeve. Uh, this is the back of the sock and this is the front of the sock. So just so you know what they are that we're looking at. Next up is textures. Like I say, it's up to you whether you leave them on or not. Um, I will leave them on. I will leave them on because they add a little something to it. Uh, sock wise, I think with the, in terms of the sock, it's got that little bit of pattern on. We don't want that. So we're going to take that off. Um, in fact, I'll just do that. And then we have the shorts. These have these two little flips on them, which I'm not bothered about. And I don't want those white ones with the outlay on them. I don't want that. I want plain white shorts. So that's that. What's, what's these? Just a couple of random lines. We'll leave them in. That adds a little bit of, that's these little lines here. It adds a little bit of something, something to it. And then lastly, the shirt. This is just taking off any, you know, design stuff that we don't want on there. And we don't actually want we don't actually want anything on the shirt at the moment because it is literally a plain black shirt um, and we have a little bit that's interesting it, it classes the arm bits interesting okay whatever whatever Trevor so there is that so we've completely stripped the shirt and we're gonna go into base and what's this oh that's that I get it Okay, that's cool. So this needs to be black because like I say, the whole shirt is going to be black. So we're going to start working on that. We're going to go through and we're going to make all of these things black. You see, that doesn't really need matter now because that there, that was, uh, wasn't it texture? I believe it was that one have a look yeah it is it doesn't really matter it's not going to be visible on the shirt anyway it's such a minor detail um and then like i say we are just literally going to go through and mark everything down as black because we do just want a completely black kit and it's gonna look like ridiculously black because it, it is very dark and there's no Unlike the other shirts, there's no major texture to the 3D kits because they're so so small, you don't see them. We're going to leave the shorts as white. Um, the socks, we're going to make black as well. Are we? Or should we? No, let's make the socks white. Let's make the socks white. So we're going to have to go in and change the colour of the, the trim on the socks. Shorts background. Interesting. Um, sock background. We'll just change. Oh, silly me. We'll change that to white as uh, as well, just so that it matches the sock. Okay, good to go. So that's the really basic of the the design. So we've got that in there. Next up, we need to start adding the little bits and bobs. So, like I say, I've been putting the trim that I'm going to keep it where I've been putting it okay so I'm just going to come into here I'm going to change this color to that orange because with the kit we had like a little a little trim on the edge so we're going to do this okay and say about that length there okay it needs to come up above over here the arm layer the sleeve layer pop there we go so now it's showing up above the sleeve and i'm just going to duplicate it okay and okay and then come to the move tool and then hold down shift left click on it and drag it across and just kind of put it in a roughly the same place as it is there it's about right and then what we'll do is we'll hold down you've seen me do this on the other one hold down control 
and hover over this box and you'll see if you look at the finger that's hovering over the box you'll see a little box just come up around if i take my finger off control it disappears put my finger back on control it comes up hit that and it selects the sleeves okay and then come down here to the little box with the, with a circle in it which is add layer mask click on that and it has added a layer mask to that one and then just come in and do the exact same thing again with this one pop and it removes the edging you know it, it removes the overlap there so it's perfectly in with the shirt and it will you know cut it to the shape of the shirt so next up then what we want to do now is we want to get our sponsor on the shirt so and our kit make as well so we're going to go to open because i want to um actually no we will minimalize this for a second i've got that on there take that down a moment and we will come in with first of all the fbt logo now it's going to come on here massive which is a bit of a bonus because we'll just say yes for the size for now because we need to do a little bit of tidying up and we need to change the color of it so we're going to come in and you'll see it's got like a, a no go on there that's because the layer is currently basically not able to be edited but if you just click on the rubber and click there you'll see this message come up just say yes and now we can remove this we've removed the copyright logo i'm going to hit control and the plus button a couple of uh, just the once to be fair to come in and then we're going to select this tool here which is the magic wand tool and um, you'll see this will allow us to select that area there and it's taken that whole area and then just press the delete button and it will take that out so that it's because for some reason whoever have made this they've not done the best of jobs um but that's not a problem we don't need to worry about it too much so that's just remove that out there and we're going to double click on that layer and we're going to come into color overlay and you'll see it's changed the color straight away go into the color patch and we're just going to make it the same color as the trim that we're using and that is that the shirt logo is done and then if i hit Control and t that will allow me to alter the size of it so holding down shift and selecting this corner with my left click on my mouse i'm just going to drag it down okay and this needs to be pretty damn small to be fair and we're gonna place it i'd say there maybe even smaller than that get about there okay that's good that is good so that's on the shirt next up i'm going to do because i've got it ready the mournflake logo for the team so that's there and we'll just do the same again make it a bit smaller move it across into the middle area maybe use the keys just to move it down a little bit now this is all kind of like just getting it to the right size and stuff can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't um i think that's okay let's just file open i need to go to my graphics what's interactive Football manager graphics page kits uh, la, 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 la. where are my 3d kits where are my 3d kits where the freaking hell have my 3d kits gone where are they premier league 3d kits so i just want to open this up that's the home kit that i did um that shirt has a lot more detail in it so that was an adidas shirt that i used for that though uh, so okay let's have a little let's just go in one and then it should make it roughly the same size well that more flakes is way too small uh, come in about there The kit size, the kits are a little bit different in form, so you know, let's just make sure we get this kind of centralized. There we go, that should be good. That should be good. And now, next up is we need to do the badge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to here, 
go up and we do Alex logo. G. You could use one of the ones that's in your, if you've got graphics downloaded, you could do that as well. Sometimes it's just easier to go with the tinter web. Grab it, pull it over, and drop it on here, and then we're going to do a little bit of, uh, <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of work on this. So again, it won't let me do anything, look, but click on it. Okay, and now I can delete it as I want. I'm going to use the magic wand tool. And we are literally going to click in there and if you hold down shift you'll see on the magic wand tool a little plus appears when i press shift and that means you can add bits to it so we're just going to go around and select all all the bits of white that we want to take out it just makes it so much easier And then we'll just hit delete and there you have it there you have it and then control and d will unselect it now the trouble is we've got here look the writing is the wrong color so i just want to double oh, one thing i just want to double check that i what colors i used for the badge on the actual kit i think i used white writing but because we want it to match what's in the 2D, we want to just make sure we've got it right. So let's just have a quick little look. Uh, crew, crew, crew. There they are. Yeah, we used white writing around there. So, close that down, close that down. What we'll do now is still using the wand, we will select the writing. So holding down shift to add it, and it will just select them all. Just going around, just making sure you get all the letters. I've done it before where I've, I think, you know, I've, I've been so, not rushed, but I've been trying to get it done quickly. And so, yeah, I've been rushed, basically, <laughs> and I've missed a letter. And then when I've, put, I've been like, what's wrong with the badge? It looks weird. Now, I'm sure there's a way that you can, I wonder if we did this. Nope. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way that we can do all of those. I think if you right click, maybe. No, well, let me fill path on that. Never mind. Um, some, somebody who's a much better Photoshop genius than me will know a way to do this. But because they're selected, you can only color them, color them in. Look, you can't color outside of it. So while they're selected, just go around with your bucket. Oh, it's white. What am I doing? What am I doing? Explain to me what I'm doing. That was a test. If you didn't notice that I'd done that, you failed the test, unfortunately, and you're not allowed to. Um, you're not allowed to football manager anymore. So find a new hobby. So we're just going to go around, like I say, enough silliness, and colour all these in. So the beauty of the 3D kits is when you download the templates, a lot of them already have kits designed, so you can use preset designs. Um, which is beautiful uh, and then control and T and then we just need to resize this bad boy I always find the badge is the hardest to resize to a point where you feel it's it's right see that feels massive to me feels mahoosive to me it is a roundabout it is around about same size, right size, pop, maybe just bring it in a little bit, pop it about there. I think that FBT logo needs to come over a little bit. Feels like it's a ways, it feels like it's a ways away. That's about, that's about good. I'm happy with that, that's about good. So, like I say, depending on what templates you use for the kits, that depends on basically the the amount of detail, because you'll see here, this is a 2K kit. This is an Adidas kit. I mean, look at the, just the detail in the shorts and stuff is crazy. Um, 
It is absolutely crazy. Now, I think I've got that. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's the front. That's the back. I was right. Yeah, that is right. Back, front. Very good. Very good. So there is the kit. Okay. Very simple. Just a really easy one to do. You can have a play around, like I say. I mean, there's so many. There is literally so many. Let's just have a little look. I mean, uh, open. I mean, those are all the Premier League ones. What I do is I downloaded the Premier League ones. Uh, you just literally type into the search engine um, FM17 3D kits and you'll be able to find the Premier League ones. I'll sort it out SI. So it's very simple to download them. Pop them into your kits graphics folder and you're having a laugh, do you know? But yeah, like I say, if you go into here, like you'll see there's quite a few kits in here and it's just a case of you know having a little look through i mean you can make your thing a lot bigger so you can have a little look at the you know the style of the kits and maybe if you just want to do a really simple red and white one there's one for you there you can perhaps take that out if you want to and stuff but it is really good to have a play around have a little look through design your kits if you want to you can use the pen tool on this like you do on the the 2d kits you know perhaps have a bit of a practice with that maybe and just work your way through it but that is the kit designed. Next thing we need to do is we need to come down here and hit that. And we're just going to pop the background on. And I'm just going to make it the same colour as the shirt. Oops. Just going to make it the same colour as the shirt. Just so that, you know, because that's how it was before. I don't know if it makes a massive difference. That's how it was before. So there we go. It's the same colour as the shirt. Right. File. And then this is save as and like I say if you haven't already download yourself the 3d kits I'll pop the, the, the description down below but down, just download the Premier League 3d match engine kits so it makes it a lot easier uh, and then there we are so it makes it a lot easier we need to remember to save it again as a PNG okay and you know that I've got crew home so we're just gonna we'll just click on that it makes it easier cheat 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 then crew away okay so that's there job done and then hit save okay now remember close it but do not save over the preset so no and that is done now we need to go into the documents folder and sports interactive go to our graphics folder kits get our 3d kits up and we need to just click once on the left you know left mouse click onto the config file right click to open it up with notepad but there it is so i've already gone in got the 3d number for the home kit so what we'll do is we'll just copy this here Control c paste it there if you don't know how to get the club id number it's very simple you go into preferences on football manager go into interface and then there's a little tip box where you can show id tip that reload you know press confirm it'll load up all the id numbers and go to the club page there'll be a little id number and that will be the club's number and that is the number you will need to put any graphics onto the kit you know in terms of kits 2d or 3d uh, right, so that's 641, that stays the same. This bad boy here, just changed to away. So that's the name of the PNG file, and then that's the club ID number. File, save. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just realized I, I forgot to do one little thing. You need to make sure you change this to away. I copied it, pasted it, changed that to away, but left that as home. So make sure you change that to away resume and that is that it is done so what we'll do now is i haven't got football manager loaded up if you have got football manager loaded up you need to go to uh, preferences interface clear the cache then go back into preferences interface and reload the skin and that will load up any graphics you just put in but if you're doing it without the game on you just need to load up the game and it should work perfectly fine but i'm going to do that now get to a match day where we're wearing our away kit and i will show you it in magic of 3d 
Okay, so as you can see, folks, we do have... Let's just slow this down a little bit more. We do have the 3D kits in the game. Uh, the strip on the arm isn't at the bottom, so I was right. I was wrong to, you know, question myself. That went in. What an effort. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, it's really simple to do. They look, they look fine in the game. I really do quite like them. That is a lovely move. Oh, good save. Uh, but yeah, they look fine. I'm really pleased with the way they've turned out. And... Uh, you know, I, I think they, I do honestly think they look really decent. I know it's only a very simple kit, but it just adds that little bit extra to it when your three. That was a terrible miss. When your three D kits match your two D kits, it really does help them out. So uh, hopefully you have found that this has been, you know, sort of a worthwhile experience. I was waiting to see if we get any better views of it. Maybe I think if maybe we looked at it from the. Is it lower behind the goal camera? Uh, what is it? Where is it? Is it zoom? Oh no, not you. Is it zoom vertical scrolling? I can never remember. No. No. Uh, behind the goal low. There we go. So we can have a look at it from behind there. And then when we get our boys coming on the attack, we'll perhaps get a little better look at it. We can do the corner for us, really. That's where it really zooms in, but you can see, you know, kind of. It's really difficult to get in and have a right proper look on the uh, on the 2D. Uh, sorry, on the 3D kits because they're very small and difficult to get in on. But yeah, you can kind of see it here. Look, there's a little strap on the arm, the badge, the logo. It's looking good. I do quite like it. I'm very pleased with the way it's turned out. The home kit looks lovely as well. So but there you go, guys. That's that. It's in the game. So hopefully that has helped you out. That's kind of got you there. Uh, I did make a little boo-boo. Uh, but hopefully, all in all, that's kind of helped you out. You know where to download it from. You know what to do. Just play around with it. Like I said in the video, play around. You know, get used to it and then start worrying about putting it in. Uh, remember, download the, even if you don't use the Premier League 3D kits, download it and get the config file and just edit that config file, you know, with the teams and the names, the home and aways and stuff that, that is for you. That's what I did. That's what I do with config files sometimes. I'll just download a kit pack or I'll just, cut if I've got a kit pack downloaded, I'll just copy the config file and then delete everything out bar two lines and just start editing copy and pasting and that's how i do it it's, it's just the easiest way for me to do it so guys hopefully this has helped you out if it has please leave a like down below if it doesn't like i say leave a dislike and give a crap uh, and i will see you all whenever i do a youtube again when will that be who knows who cares bye oh, i can't believe that i just didn't like, oh yeah do this do that and let's just leave out a massive bit of changing Home to Hawaii. I get to the beat. I get so nice.